Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 8, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and our online trade and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin and, uh, well, Bitcoin again broke all expectation. We broke $40,000 per Bitcoin. That is absolutely crazy. So this is the daily chart. We were at 85 in the daily chart. Technical indicators are still absolutely crazy bullish. So, but we have had quite a lot, quite a big pullback. We were at the top here at 40,117 and we we're trading at the 38,861. So still, it doesn't look like there is any uh, expectation that this is going to completely fall apart, even though that this makes no sense whatsoever. We can look at the bullish band and just see how overstretched we are just in the daily chart. So when you basically get this overstretched in the daily chart, it is a really, really big warning sign that we could see a massive fall. For example, it would be very likely that will fall to these previous highs here, and that is roughly 33,350, give or take. Uh, that is very likely. But if you look at, for example, the weekly chart, then this is just getting really, really, really out of hands. Um, this is just not sustainable in the long run. And we've been saying that for a very long time. It is going to happen. This just can't continue growing all the way to 40, 50, 60 without having a significant pullback. People are buying at a enorm enorm enormous price here. Well, but as long as people are buying into this, it will continue to grow. We, um, if we could actually fall all the way back to the middle here, and that is roughly uh, 18, 17,000. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, it is not completely crazy to expect a fall towards the 50 of uh, the uh, 38.2 Fibonacci retracement that's set to a 26,000 rough give or take uh, the 50 is at 21.8 uh, uh, 28 and 28,000 22,000 roughly and that 61 is at 17 and a half and 17,562 so these are very large numbers but Bitcoin has done that in the past. It has become, been this parabolical before, for example, all the way back in 2017. It's a very similar move, and then it lost half of its value in one week. So it is very likely uh, to buy it here. Still, I've been saying that ever since we were basically down here at 26,000, uh, and where we were way outside of the bullish band, it is technically playing with fire at this current stage. People are using this as a hedge, no, not a hedge, but as a safe haven. And they're also using this as a, basically investing because they think that Bitcoin is going to uh, uh, 500,000 and so on. But in order to trade this safely, we need an absolutely uh, pullback towards the middle here, which is far, far away. It's roughly half of it, the value of the current, this current stage. So let's look at the Ethereum. So you can see Ethereum is even worse. We are trading at 12,036 uh, 12, uh, 12, uh, at this current stage. It's been a long day. So we just can see how far we are outside of the bullish band. This is not sustainable and we will see this fall at least to the half, roughly 700, or give or take, or the, uh, around 60, 600 area. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement for this, we can put it here, here. The first Fibonacci retracement is at 825, second is at 685, and then we have all the way down here to 539. But this is just getting really, really out of hand, and uh, a pullback is expected at some point. It just can't continue like this uh, week in and week out. So let's look at 
XRP. We are, can look at the daily chart and this had a very, very bullish day today. So yesterday I said when we break above the 220 and the, the basically middle of the Bollinger Band, we could start to get really excited for about this um, cryptocurrency. And yes, this is going is looking really excited, considering that we are only this is a really cheap compared to uh, Ethereum and and Facebook, Facebook Bitcoin. I mean, then this is very cheap. You could basically just gamble, buy it here, hold it. If it gets to the same levels, uh, for example, Bitcoin at some st st some stage, you will earn a lot, a lot of money. So, um, so I could imagine at some point. People just looking at Bitcoin and thinking, okay, there is not that much gain left in this. If we want to make a really serious money, we can start trading some of these uh, lesser known cryptocurrencies, uh, which are very cheap at this point and have a lot of potential to grow to the upside. So when we break the 50 moving average, then this is going to, uh, to most likely test these previous highs. And that is basically um, basically a hundred percent. So, so, um, so that is, that is enormous gains for people that were basically trading this. So at this current stage, we are trading above the 20 exponential moving average. This is a very bullish shine. Technologies are all turning around. If we manage to break the 50, then that is a very, very encouraging sign for XRP. So let's look at the new, that is Litcoin. Here, all right. So we are trading at uh, 170. We are also getting very overstretched here. We're way outside of the bullish band in the in the daily chart, and you should expect a pullback towards the middle of the of the bullish band, and that's roughly at 113, uh, give or take. So we have also gone completely parabolical. We have taken out these previous highs. And uh, we are testing the very. Um, we can go back to the weekly weekly chart to see it see it better. So this was way up here uh, back in 2017, uh, roughly 377. And uh, at the moment we have crossed these previous highs, and it is very likely that we are going to take out these highs as well. So people are just pumping money into uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, there is basically no end in sight even though well in a in a technical sense there is basically worthless um and really risky as soon as um, central banks starts uh, start making their own e-currencies and so on it will basically be over with these cryptocurrencies so but as long as the party is going people are making a lot of money from this and um, for example in litcoin if it pulls back towards roughly 100, then it's a very, very good buy. We are very overstretched here. There is going to come a day um, very soon for all of these cryptocurrency where we're going to see a massive pullback because they're all extremely overstretched. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. The, uh, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.